join me to build this watch list database in the next few minutes. It's by far the coolest way to take notes about shows and movies in Obsidian. It can be your watch list for organization, track your ratings and insights, and a lot more. We don't even have to code, so let's dive right in. Okay, so obviously there must be some way to smoothly import our movies and series. Like, I don't want to get these movie covers like from the internet and write these titles by hand. Doing that would take hours. Of course, my buddy Moritz Jung got our back. So, of course, we're going to create a new vault first because movie database deserves its own vault for demo. I'm going to pick a location, hit create, easy peasy, close the graph view and delete the welcome note. Good. So first things first again, click on the settings, go to community plugins, turn them on, click on browse and search media DB by Moritz Young. Click install and click enable and click on options. If you've installed it correctly, otherwise that won't work, obviously. And immediately to import all the movies and the series of hot desires, we immediately need to get ourselves an OMDB API key. Without this, this plugin can't really get anything from anywhere. So click one of the links in the description to actually go to https omdbapi.com slash API key dot ASPX. Open that and click on free, enter your mail, your first name, last name, use like that. And also like specify your use like for your Obsidian Vault, then click on submit. Okay, and then you should find this mail inside your mailbox, which gives you your key, which you can copy already. And then actually make sure to click the like this activation link once to make sure that your key is being activated. Mine is already activated. Wow. Come back to Obsidian and then in OMDB API key, just copy paste that key in. And now before we even import things, I'm immediately going to specify because here in the settings, we can choose where our movies and series are actually going to be imported into. So I actually don't want them to be in their own MediaDB folder. And now in our empty vault, our empty canvas, we're actually going to click Command P or Control P if you're on Windows, and we're going to just type in the word movie. And then we're actually going to see this very nice prompt, which is MediaDB create MediaDB entry movie. I'm gonna hit that and this will actually like do a media database search with um, all the movie APIs where the OMDB API that we just imported is actually part of. And I'm going to search for House Moving Castle. And there it is, actually not the main title because it's like also Japanese, but you know, their House Moving Castle. Okay, and then I'm going to search Dune because it's a nice movie. And there is actually Dune part one and also part two. I actually want to import both because you can also bulk import things from one search query. Then I'm going to click OK. Then it's going to preview the notes it's going to import. So as you can see, we have a lot of handy properties already given in there. Also like a personal rating and last watch or watched falls. And yeah, I'm just going to click OK. And now in the MediaDB folder, we have two movies imported, which is nice. Of course, we need some shows as well. So I'm, hit, I'm gonna hit Command slash Control P again. Now I'm going to search for series and now I'm going to search for Arcane. Also an awesome show. I highly recommend you watch it. And I'm going to click on Arcane and I'm going to click OK. And again, OK. And now in MediaDB, we actually have a series and a movies folder, both filled with movies or series. Of course, at this point, they don't really do much. So buckle up and let me show you how to build that watch list hub. So let's create an Obsidian base, new base. I'm gonna call it Watchlist Hub. Yeah, I'm immediately going to go to the filter section to narrow down our search to the folder is, and then movies. Then I'm going to go to our table view, extend it, change it to be a card view, maybe increase the card size a bit, also click on image property. So this is actually the property that's going to show the cover image there. Now I'm gonna adjust the aspect ratio to actually fit. So 1.55 seems to be the fitting aspect ratio. And I'm gonna rename this view to movies. Okay, we're basically halfway there. But after even we built that series view, stick around for some extra tips. And instead of just creating a new base for that, I'm actually going to show you that you can in fact just duplicate the view you had before by clicking duplicate view. I'm gonna call it series, then go back. Now switch to the series view. 
which we're now in. And there in the filters, we're going to change the folder to be series. And bam, there's our game. Awesome. Okay, now I've actually imported some other awesome movies and series that I love. And because of that, I'm actually gonna decrease the card size a bit, also for the movies. And what you also might have noticed is that, yeah, here's also an anime like Demon Slayer. So if you hit Command P and search for series, and for example, search for One Piece, you will also find like animes through the OMDB API and can add them to your liking. I also want you to mind that we can sort and group things. For example, we can group things by the online rating. And now we actually have like things, for example, all of these shows have a rating of 8.6, which is nice to note. And yeah, also if you want other properties, for example, the file name, like the title shouldn't be displayed because it's already on the poster, but maybe you want to display we actually wrote it, then you can like unhide the writer property, for example. And yeah. And guys, like remember, this is only the beginning of things you can do with like bases. Want to see something even cooler? Then check out this video where I built a gaming tracker. It's a very similar structure. So in a way you already built it. Go check it out to find out what you still need to change. Thanks for watching.